When people see a sleek, whiskered marine animal lounging on a rock or gliding effortlessly through the water, the words seal and sea lion are often used interchangeably. At a glance, it's easy to see why. Both belong to the group known as pinnipeds, meaning fin-footed, and both spend their lives split between land and sea. But despite their similar appearance, sea lions and seals are far from identical. In fact, once you know what to look for, the differences become surprisingly obvious. From how they move and communicate to where they live and how they interact with humans, sea lions and seals represent two distinct paths of marine evolution. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the difference, it helps to start with classification. Seals and sea lions are part of the pinniped family, which also includes walruses. However, seals belong to the family Fossidae, often called true seals, while sea lions belong to Otaridae, the family of eared seals. This name alone reveals one of the clearest distinctions. Sea lions have visible external ear flaps, small but unmistakable while true seals lack external ears entirely, relying instead on small ear openings on the sides of their heads. This seemingly minor detail reflects deeper anatomical differences that influence how each animal moves, hunts, and survives. One of the most noticeable differences appears when these animals come ashore. Sea lions are surprisingly agile on land. Their long front flippers can rotate underneath their bodies, allowing them to walk on all fours. This ability lets them climb rocks, move quickly across beaches, and even chase one another with bursts of speed. Seals, on the other hand, are much less graceful on land. Their rear flippers cannot rotate forward, forcing them to move by wriggling and bouncing along their bellies in a motion often compared to a caterpillar or inchworm. While this looks awkward, it's not a flaw. It's a trade-off that benefits them in the water. In the ocean, seals are built for efficiency. Their compact bodies and powerful rear flippers act like a single propeller pushing them through the water with remarkable speed and precision. Sea lions, by contrast, rely more on their large front flippers, using them like underwater wings to generate lift and maneuverability. This gives sea lions excellent control and agility, especially in shallow or rocky environments, while seals excel at long-distance swimming and deep diving. Some seal species can dive for over an hour, and reach depths that would crush most mammals thanks to specialized adaptations like oxygen-storing muscles and collapsible lungs. Behavior also sets these animals apart, particularly when it comes to sound. Sea lions are famously vocal. They bark, roar, and growl loudly, especially in crowded colonies where communication and dominance displays are constant. This noisiness is why sea lion rookeries are often described as chaotic and boisterous. Seals, in contrast, are generally quieter. While they do make sounds, especially underwater or during mating season, they tend to be far less vocal on land. This quieter nature aligns with their more solitary lifestyle compared to the highly social structure of sea lion colonies. Social behavior further highlights their differences. Sea lions are extremely social animals, often gathering in large groups on beaches, docks, and rocky shores. These colonies are structured, with dominant males defending territories and harems during breeding season. Seals are typically more solitary, spending much of their time alone or in small groups. Even during breeding season, seal gatherings are usually less organized and less noisy than those of sea lions. This difference in social structure affects how each species interacts with its environment and with humans.
Diet-wise sea lions and seals eat many of the same things, including fish, squid, and crustaceans, but their hunting strategies can differ. Sea lions are often opportunistic hunters, using their agility to chase fast-moving prey in shallower waters. Seals, especially deep-diving species, tend to hunt in colder, deeper waters where they rely on stealth and endurance. Both animals have sensitive whiskers, known as vibrissae, which help them detect vibrations in the water, allowing them to locate prey even in near-total darkness. Geographically, both seals and sea lions are found across the globe, but their distributions vary by species. Sea lions are most commonly found along temperate coastlines, particularly in the Pacific Ocean, with large populations along the western coasts of North and South America. Seals have a much wider range, including polar regions, where species like the ringed seal and harp seal thrive in icy environments. This ability to survive extreme cold gives seals access to ecological niches that sea lions generally cannot tolerate. Another key difference lies in how humans perceive and interact with them. Sea lions are often seen in aquariums, zoos, and marine parks because of their intelligence, trainability, and social nature. They can learn complex behaviors, respond to commands, and interact closely with trainers. Seals, while intelligent, are generally less suited to this type of environment due to their quieter, more reserved temperament. This difference has shaped public perception, with sea lions often viewed as playful performers and seals as elusive, mysterious creatures of the wild. In the end, while seals and sea lions may look similar at first glance, they represent two distinct solutions to life in the ocean. Sea lions are the loud, agile, social acrobats of the coast, equally comfortable swimming through waves or strutting across rocky shores. Seals are the streamlined, silent specialists, built for endurance, deep diving, and survival in some of the planet's harshest marine environments. Understanding the difference doesn't just help you identify them, it reveals how evolution can take similar beginnings and produce remarkably different outcomes. So next time you spot a pinniped basking in the sun, look closely. The ears, the movement, and even the sounds might tell you exactly which ocean neighbor you're looking at. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.